What we saw today was one that is not an abuse deterrent formula that can be coating removed and then crushed or ground up and liquefied and can be injected, which is a lot of what's out there on the street right now. The new abuse deterrent formula has a casing that's very hard to melt, and beyond that, it has a jelly formula inside of it, and we've not been able to crush it nor melt it. Um, it turns slimy and gooey, so definitely would cut back or eliminate people who are inhaling it or who are injecting it. In terms of patient care, they're still going to be able to, do, to take the pills and have stomach acids break them down and get the pain relief. But in terms of abuse, they're not going to be able to crush it, you know, liquefy it and shoot it anymore, or even crush it to inhale it. So you're kind of cutting off two, and given the expense of prescription opioids, um, like a 80 milligram Oxycontin actually goes for $100 now because they're really, really hard to get. Before they started clamping down on prescription mills, they were really cheap.